Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today I'd like to talk to you about Nehemiah, a great leader of God's people whose task was to um, organise a ragtag bunch of Jewish exiles who'd returned from captivity and help them to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, which had been destroyed by the invasion itself, a, a kind of consequence of generations of sin on the part of the, the citizens of Jerusalem. And uh, he has a difficult task. It's much harder to defend the city when the walls are down. And I felt like this was a great metaphor for the spiritual life and the walk of discipleship. Because when we sin, what essentially happens is um, we allow the, the devil to get an inroad into our, our hearts. We, the wall is breached and pulled down. And once that wall is down, it's much harder for us to defend the city. city. And each of us will have weak points in our defences, breaches in the wall, where we need to be extra vigilant, just as Nehemiah was. And we need to rebuild those walls, otherwise we'll be overrun. And we need to be diligent in rebuilding those walls and have one, a trowel in one hand and a sword in the other, just as Nehemiah and his, his fellows did. And so we need to um, rebuild the walls at the point of the breach. But those are our weak points. Those are our areas of temptation or, or, or despair or, or whether the enemy will try and intimidate us. Now, there's this great story in um, Nehemiah chapter 6 um, where Sambalat, Tobiah and Geshem, some of these uh, kind of figures in the local area, um, were trying to intimidate Nehemiah because they didn't want him to rebuild the walls and re-establish Jerusalem as a city. Uh, and so they send uh, various messages and rumours and, and letters to him. And Nehemiah says this in, in verse 9 of chapter 6. They were just trying to intimidate us, imagining that they could discourage us and stop the work. So I continued the work with even greater determination. Which is inspiring, isn't it? And I think we need to take a page out of Nehemiah's book that every time we know that the, the enemy is pushing the buttons, trying to intimidate us, trying to pressure us at the point of the breach and the walls, we need to train ourselves not to uh, become discouraged or to give in or just to down tools and think, what's the point? But to see that as an opportunity for greater victory, to see that as an opportunity to glorify God and to, uh, to push through, uh, to face it with even greater determination. And so this week, whenever you feel tempted um, in a particular area of sin that you you have a predisposition to, it's harder. It's hard because you, you may have been there before and you know what it feels like. And so the devil's got a foothold there, uh, a breach in the wall. Whenever that comes up or whenever you're tempted to fear, be fearful or whether that, whenever the devil tries to intimidate you in, into a posture of despair, gird up your loins. Um, think about Nehemiah. Commit yourself to the work with even greater determination and pray to God and praise him in the breach saying thank you lord for this opportunity to strengthen the wall at the point of the breach and i worship you here and the more we do that the more we train ourselves to do it the less incentive there is for the devil to try and attack us because actually the more he tempts us the, the stronger we can become with the help of the spirit and so let's be like nehemiah let's continue the work with even greater determination this week